Today I'm gonna to make a shrimp and grits, and my shrimp and grits is a little bit different than the traditional southern shrimp and grits. I use good quality grits, cornmeal, that comes from the south, but I don't use any sort of uh, animal fat. Actually, I don't even use any butter in it. Uh, I use a vegetable stock, I use the, the grits themselves, and then I add some cheese. I do like cheese in it because I like the creaminess of it. Now, as far as the shrimp part, what you put on top, the sky is the limit. Your imagination is what kind of limits you in terms of what you want to put on the top. You could put on sauteed shrimp, you could put on some shrimp that you uh, blacken, you could uh, bake them, or you could go ahead and, uh, and batter them and fry them, and they're kind of nice that way too. So today I'm gonna actually going to use a, a battered shrimp. I'm going to make that myself and go ahead and bake those off so that I have a little crustiness on the shrimp. I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, sauce with it. I'm going to make a little bit of um, red pepper sauce of some kind. I'm not sure what exactly. I'll kind of make it up as I go, just to give it a little more complexion. I just to have, like to have a little bit of flavor. But again, the sky's the limit. If you wanted to add a little bit of lemon to it, if you wanted to add a little bit of tomato, if you wanted to add a little bit of uh, scallion or other type of onion. Um, in fact, I may even throw some, I have some, uh, some onion rings that I created. Maybe I'll throw those on there too, because it'd be really nice. If you just like to have that, the textural component and all the flavors, the richness of the flavor, that's what it all comes down to. In my humble opinion, there are two very important things to, that you need to consider when you're making grits. The first is what liquid you're going to soak the cornmeal in. Now, I like to use vegetable stock. Some people use milk or cream, but I think that's too heavy. Water doesn't give it enough depth of flavor, so I like to use vegetable stock because it adds something to it that really makes it rich and kind of luscious in a way and gives it a lot of flavor. The second thing is what quality grits you use. I like to use a really good stone ground grit. Now, I prefer yellow grits to white grits, and I know this, the difference is very subtle, but that's what I like. It's about a three to one ratio of grits to liquid, and you're just gonna put it in there and you're gonna mix it up, and that's what's gonna start to give you your grits. You're gonna to have to let it cook for a good 40 minutes or so to really let the, the corn absorb all the liquid that's in there. So it's really important to do this right and spend the time and make the grits develop a great texture and flavor. I like them to be a little toothy. That's why I like to use these stone ground uh, corn products that really add something to it. So it's really important to start with the right things, really make it work. Now to up the ante just a little bit on the flavor, I add a little bit of bouillon. And that gives just a little bit more richness to it, a little saltiness, a little flavor depth. So that way it can be totally vegetarian, it can be vegan in fact, because I haven't put anything in it, and it really makes it quite nice. It really gives some re really great richness to it. So I'm gonna stir it up, let it just continue to cook in a simmer for just a couple of minutes here, just as I'm starting to get the temperature up in the, in the liquid. So I bring it up to a boil, and then as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm gonna put the lid on it, and then turn it down to low simmer and let it cook for about 35 minutes or so. And now we can turn our attention to what I wanna have on the grits. I like different things on there. You can put anything on the top you want. Now I like these little peppers. These are really nice, these little uh, red peppers. They're not too spicy, they've got a little texture to them, they're really nice. So I like to dice those up, they work well on top. You could use any vegetable you like on top. In fact, I'm gonna add a tomato to it just because I think the tomato gives a little bit of uh, juiciness and a little different flavor while it looks the same but I'll put that on there too. So I'll mix those two together and that'll be part of my topping. And that'll come out really nice because it'll give me a little something with it. Now, of course, I said I was gonna make shrimp and grits, so I'm gonna actually make some shrimp to go along with it. And the shrimp I'm gonna make are these uh, oven-baked coated shrimp. So they're gonna, be, they're gonna have something like a fried shrimp texture, and uh, I think they'll come out really nice that way and it'll really work with this. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some cheese to my grits. You could leave this step out if you want to, you could use vegan cheese if you wanted to. You could do a lot of different things here. Make this your own recipe. Kind of enjoy what it is because it's really about the grits and the texture of the grits that make it important. I just like a little bit of creaminess in there, so I use a little bit of this uh, Parmesan cheese to uh, make it really come together and make it really nice. And all I'm going to do is just go until it melts, and that's it. I just have the pan on very low heat at this point. You can see the texture of the grits is coming together, and that's what I want it to look like, sort of like that. It's got a little toothiness. It's, it's not quite a polenta because it's not as dense, but it's also not like your typical grits that are kind of watery in a way. So now I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to take a couple of scoops of grits, put them in the bottom of my bowl here, and you can see sort of this lusciousness that I've got. Really, really tasty. And now you can put your toppings on. So I'm gonna start with the tomatoes and peppers that I cut up. That's a nice place to start. I just put them right on top. 
Now I'm gonna add a little bit of spice, a little heat. So I've got a little bit of this peri-peri sauce. It's got a spiciness to it. I'm just gonna put a couple of splashes of it in there because it gives a little bit of pepperiness that I kind of like. It just adds something to it. You can add anything you want. You really, this is a freeform, empty palette. You could use whatever you want. I also like a little bit of barbecue sauce on here. A little bit of barbecue sauce just adds something to it because I'm having these essentially fried shrimp. So I think that adds a little something to it too. So now I've got my shrimp and I'm gonna put them around and I just bake them in the oven with a little bit of coating on them and I'll just move them, uh, put them right on top and that makes my shrimp and grits. Now I also like, I made these onion rings that I'm gonna throw on there as well because I think they're really, really nice. They give a little texture and also a little depth of flavor. A little onion is kind of nice in there. So this is my shrimp and grits. It's a really, really simple dish to prepare. It takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth your effort because it makes something that's really delicious. And you can make it your own by adding any vegetables or shrimp or not shrimp or faux shrimp or whatever you like to it to make something really, really good.